Next question is from Jackie Martinez, 1983. Hey, Jackie! <laughs> what does it take to always be on? On. And she put that in quotation. I think she means feeling like, like you're your best. Turned on. Yeah, like you're on fire. You know, here's the key with that. I, I spent a lot of you know, my 20s, I would say, and maybe even some of my 30s trying to figure out how to always be on. Um, but then I started to realize that the key really is to figure out how to perform when you're not on. Um, you know, being on means being healthy, taking care of yourself, you know, getting good sleep. But even if you do all of that, you're not going to be on all the time. You're not going to mm. feel like you're on fire and motivated all the time. You can't. That's it's impossible. It's a it's a feeling that you have and it waxes and wanes and the most successful people in I don't care what category uh, you pick are the ones that are disciplined and can stay consistent when they're not on because when you're on yeah. it's not you're going to be consistent. You're going to work out. When you're feeling motivated I've never had to convince a motivated client to eat better. They're doing it on their own. It's when they're not feeling that way that's when the real work comes into play. So I think it's really about practicing and learning how to continue to do the right things, to continue to work hard, to continue to take care of yourself, be an honest person, do all the stuff that you know is good when you don't feel like it. I think yeah. that's the key. I feel like there's two different personalities with this. I feel like there's people that can are always driven to turn it on. You know, wh whatever state they're in, they always have to turn it on. And they, they have a really hard, hard time learning how to turn it off and, and being able to uh, decompress and be able to, you know, recover and rejuvenate. And all that stuff sounds like a dirty word. Uh, and, and then, you know, obviously the opposite of that, where it's like, you know, I just want to stay comfortable. I want to I don't like change. I don't want to do all this. Stuff. I just want to be chill. And, and, and they really need to turn it on. Mm -hmm. And that's a hard thing for them to do. And a lot of my clients that I, I had, I it, a lot of it really like revolved around being able to turn that off and to be able to really focus in inward and be able to, you know, learn how to meditate and learn how to, you know, proper recover. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I would just look at case by case, like who kind of falls a little bit more on uh, both sides of the spectrum. Well, I'm, I'm with you, Justin. Uh, I, first of all, I don't I don't think it's uh, advantageous to be on all the time. But I, I do think this is what separates champions and everybody else. Yeah. I think when you have the ability to switch on uh, at command, regardless of what's going on in your life, regardless of, uh, you know, the rough childhood or the rough stuff going on with your relationship or the hardship that you have at work. If you have the ability to shut those things off and turn on uh, on command is what I think separates the people that from good to great. Um, and that me and that, that that plays into sports, that plays into your business life, that plays into your relationship. Can you turn it on uh, when when it matters, when it's tough, when it's hard, when you're tired and fatigued, when there's lots of drama in your life? Can you show up mm -hmm. and switch on and be the best version of you at that thing that you're doing? Does that mean that your health may be suffering? Does that mean that there's other things that are, are troubling in your life? Like, no, that's, that's life. Mm -hmm. Everybody has that. We all have hardships. We all have struggles. We have hurdles. Are, do you have the ability, despite all those things that are going on in your life, to turn it on and be the best version of you at that moment at whatever it is you're doing? And that could be your craft. It could be your job. It could be a sport. And this, to me, is what really separates the, those that are great. Those that are great have this ability to know that all this shit is going on in, in my life. And, and here's the thing is a lot of times those that are really great, when it's most chaotic – they hone in even more on whatever it is they're focusing on. So mm -hmm. they use that fuel of like all this other chaos and shit and stress and everything going on in my life. Like they get even more tunnel vision on whatever it is they're doing, whether that be their job, whether it be their sport or their craft. They just go all in on it and they turn on completely. So. Yeah, yeah. And, it brings me back to Stephen Kotler, Jamie Wheel. Like a, they're talking about <laughs> flow. flow state and. Um, and, and you see that with like your top performers, like how they can like weave in and out of that and, and, and gain a flow state and have access to it. And a lot of it is just being present. And I think that uh, a lot of times when uh, when I'm not on, I'm, I'm thinking too much in the future. And I'm and I'm and I'm trying to anticipate, and I, I work on this a lot actually. Uh, with as of late, the, over the last year or so, of learning how to stop analyzing, stop like thinking like 
10 steps ahead and just come out with it. And, and, and it always comes out better when, when you're present. And so being on is, is most closely associated for me with being present. Yeah. And here's the other thing, too, is I remember you used to tell this to my salespeople. Uh, motion creates emotion. And what I mean by that is, you know, we're talking about how to get your body and yourself to, to all of a sudden turn on. Part of that, I mean, a lot of that's discipline. Like there's many times, I'll use exercise as an example just because it's a simple, silly one. But there's many times when I don't feel like working out, the discipline gets me up and gets me going. 20 minutes into it, now I'm on and I'm having a great workout. Or I don't want to do this thing for the business. I need to write this thing and I really don't feel like it. But the discipline gets me going and then that's what turns that switch on. So a lot of it has to do with discipline and doing it anyway. You know, that's, a, that's what I mean by discipline is you do it anyway. And oftentimes doing it anyway is what gets that feeling of being on. And the more you practice that, the more you know and the more confident you become in the fact that you can do it anyway. No matter how I feel or how scared I am or how tired I am, I've done things anyway so many times in the past. I have no fear that, I'll, that I, I won't do that. I know I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. Even if I don't feel good, I'm still going to do it. And then that feeling alone sometimes, oftentimes, mm. makes you feel like you're on. Viagra also helps. <laughs>